Hey guys, welcome back to electronicsinnovation.com. Till now, we would have seen printing letters, scrolling text, decimal numbers, hexadecimal and binary numbers, and different type of shapes on OLED display. But what about playing videos on OLED display? Sounds interesting, right? That's why I'm here. In this video, we will see how to play videos on OLED display. So, without wasting time, let's get started. Yavadanta, yavadanta. Ninnu yetu kundi, yetali ki puttadoi, nandi kani nandi, yavaru kanandi, yakkada vinandi, shuni arai unde mo ganga jari kilinga me kadilos tanandi. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. PCBWay is the one of the best PCB manufacturers in the current industry. PCBWay is offering services like PCB prototyping, SMD stencil, PCB assembly, flexible PCBs and advanced PCBs. At PCBWay.com, we can get 10 pieces of 2 layered PCBs at just $5 with 24 hours build time. The best part of PCBWay is the instant code feature. Just enter the PCB size, choose quantity, layers and thickness. That's it. We will get the instant code. Place the order by clicking on save to cart. Required components are ESP32 module, 1.8 by 64 pixels OLED display with I2C interface, breadboard and some connecting wires. Here is the circuit diagram. Connect OLED display with ESP32 as shown here. Before going to program it, let's understand the basics here. Here we are using 128 by 64 pixels I2C OLED display. It has a total of 8192 pixels, which can be programmed individually to turn on and off. All these pixels are uniformly distributed over the display. If we take a closer look at the display, we can observe that each pixel is nothing but a tiny LED. As I have explained in my previous video, we can print anything on the display by glowing the exact pattern of the pixels or LEDs and keep the rest of the pixels in off state. Coming to playing videos on the display, we will use simple logic here. A video is nothing but a sequence of pictures. So we will extract the frame from the video and play them with very little delay so that or I can feel that video is playing. Here, I took a click from the movie Bahubali, which is released in 2015. It is a massive hit, which broke almost of all records of Indian cinema. I have given Netflix link in the description. If you wish, you can watch it. <laughs> This video is having frame width 1920, height 1080 and frame rate is 30 fps. I have converted this video to the frame width 128, height 64 and frame rate is 5 fps to play video on OLED display. Then I have extracted all the frames from the video using an online converter. I have converted the frame into the bitmap or a CRA using this online tool. This bitmap is nothing but a sequence of ones and zeros. This bitmap will contain information 
which pixel should turn on and turn off. 1 means on, 0 means off. Likewise, I have converted all the frames and stored in a text file as shown here. The components required are pretty less. But the coding is quite a bit here. So put on your coding hats and let's get started. Here is the code for playing videos on OLED display with ESP32 module. This code will be available on the project page which is mentioned in the description below. As we are using ESP32 module, we should have the ESP32 add-on installed in our Arduino IDE. I have already installed it. You can install it by clicking this button. These are the libraries we are using. We have to install them from the library manager before we proceed to upload code. Type library name and install them as shown here. Make sure you have provided the right pixel information to the library. Then all bitmaps of frames are provided here. Make sure the I2C address is correct, otherwise the display will not show anything. First of all, clear the display, then draw bitmap on OLED screen. Here I have kept 200 milliseconds delay. Why? Because my video frame rate is 5. It means these 5 frames will display in 1 second. Now connect ESP32 with laptop using a data cable. Check the uploading configurations like board ESP32 dev module, uploading speed and select the right port. Then upload it. Till then the code gets uploaded, I wanted to let you know one thing about our channel. As you can see here, 95% of people who are watching videos in our channel are not subscribed. If you are new to this channel or you didn't subscribe yet, I request you to subscribe and opt to notifications if and only if you find this video is something informative and useful to you. Upon successful uploading, you can see the video playing on the OLED display. I have repeated the same process with my channel intro, which is very familiar to you. The only thing I have changed here is the delay because I have converted my video with 10 FPS. These 10 frames will make the 1 second video. That's it. We have successfully played videos on OLED display. Thank you.